Friends, a user asked how to make a Tinkercad bowling pin. I've got a strategy, so let's get cracking. If this is your first time visiting Tinkercad.com, this is the homepage. These are designs. This is where you create a new 3D design. I have already created the design, so I can simply hit Tinker This. All of your designs are saved online, so as soon as you back out with this button, whatever you have made is saved. This is where you name a file. I changed the original name to Bowling Pin. I made the fun little bowling pin, and I added the stripes. Let me show you how it happens. We typically build with these basic shapes, but there are also advanced shapes you can search for. We are going to type the word hyper, and we get this awesome one called the hyperboloid. When you bring it out, we are not going to stretch this at all. Instead, we're going to just change these parameters. We're going to type 30. We're going to keep the 10. I want the bowling pin to become wider, so we're going to make the inner radius 12 and press enter. All of a sudden, you'll see it pop out like your bowling pin, and then we're going to maximize the sides all the way to 60. Bingo, we've got the bottom of our bowling pin. We're going to press W for work plane, set the work plane on top, click on this shape and do control D, D to drop, and we've got our second piece. Check this out once again, changing parameters. We're going to keep the outer radius at 10, and all we're going to do is make the inner radius 5. I'm going to keep the same height. I'm going to put the work plane on the ground, and you can see right there we have already got a reasonable bowling ball shape. Next thing we want to do is add the top. We're going to do that with a basic shape. I'm going to simply use a sphere, and I'm going to cruise it on top. If we make this shape a little bit larger, I'm going to do a shift stretch. I can now push it down in until I find a spot where I'm happy. I'm going to select all of those. I'm going to do L for a line, and I'm going to choose middle and middle. Now, if I click on this, I can bump up the steps so it's a little more smooth. I also can nudge it up and down. I'm going to use the point one nudge. And if I do control down arrow, you can see you can get it to a spot where it's smooth. If you want a shape that's more oblong, once again, you can just stretch it. And once again, use your control up and down to get the exact shape you want for your bowling pin. Of course, you could cut this off so it was a little bit lower. Tweak, adjust, make it exactly the way you want. The next thing I want to show you, though, is how we make the stripes. Friends, we're going to use something called the inverse hole trick. I'm going to grab all of these. Do control G to group. Now it's a single piece, and I'm going to turn it into a hole. This way it cuts out. Now I'm going to bring out a solid. I'm going to make it larger than this shape. If we click on this, you can see it's 25 by 25. So I'm going to shift stretch until this is somewhere in the 30s. Bring it out, and I'm going to lift it higher. Select the two. Choose L for a line, and we just want middle and middle. Now when we group this, it has a little red outline while we wait for it to group. Once that snaps away, it will be grouped. If you hit T for transparent, you can see inside, instead of transparent though, we want it to be a hole. Now to add the stripes, check this out. We're going to bring out our cube. We know that we have to be bigger than the old 25 that that pin used to be. So notice I went to 25.9. I'm going to choose to make my solid white piece about this high. Notice you can pick where you want the stripes to land. And then we're going to hide this real quick. And I'm going to do Control D, put W for work plane, click on top, and do D to drop. I'm going to make my stripe 5 millimeters thick. You can pick whatever you want. This is just guess and check. So let's make this next part super fast. Switch to your 5 millimeter nudge. Click on the piece you just made that is 5 millimeters. Do Control D, Control Up, and then do Control D again, and Control D again, and we have just made our striped areas. Let me show you how this works. Bowling pins are typically white. Then, of course, you'll have red. Then, of course, you'll have white. Then, of course, you'll have red. And then, of course, we need to finish with white. Show everything so we can see our old bowling pin. Notice we need to come up here almost 91 high for the one I created. Yours might be a different height. 
So we just need to now stretch this one up close to the same height. Let's see how that looks. That will be perfect. Are you ready for this? I'm going to press W and I'm going to click down here to put the work plane back to normal. Now when we select all of that and do Control G, this hole cuts out those parts. After a moment, we have a bowling pin. You'll notice it turned out all white, but if we hit multicolor, friends, just like that, you've got an awesome bowling pin. I'm going to delete my other ones just to clean up the space, and let's quickly move some pins around here. Once again, if you do Control D, because of that nudge, we can get them right where we want. If you do Control D again, it memorizes it. I can now grab those and do the same thing again. This time I'm going to do Control D, and it was like three nudges back over control D D I did not leave enough room for all the pins but I'm gonna just quickly drop this in here control D shift nudge get it in the middle and control D and control D and once you've got your bowling pins then a fun thing to do is to move to sim lab give the parts a moment to become final I'm gonna grab all these real quick and use that arrow key to move them over to the middle and now when I hit play, I can throw things at my bowling pins. <laughs> of course, tons of fun. You can fiddle with these. If you don't like the results, don't forget you can reset them. I had an extra one here because there are two in that spot. That's something I could fix at a different time. Right now, I'm going to switch them from plastic to polystyrene. And let's hit play again. Of course, there's that extra one that I need to delete. But now, bingo, we have got our strike with our fun bowling pins used in Sim Lab. Friends, as I wrap up, I want to say thanks for the question. Oh my gosh, love finding new uses for shapes like the hyperbolic shape. Also love a chance when we get to do inverse holes. And oh my gosh, what's more fun than Tinkercad's Sim Lab? Friends, I also want to say thanks for all the support of the channel. It is so cool to see us getting close to 50,000 subscribers. Friends, I hope you had a ton of fun and of course have a glorious day and keep tinkering. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad. Below that, you'll find tons of amazing categories. Also, the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down a little bit further, you will find my course, Tinkercad in 20 Days, which is hosted on cadclass.org. This video will teach you all about it. And, of course, there's a sweet coupon code that'll get you 25% off off any of the amazing courses on the site. Of course, you can use this link right there to visit in minutes. Finally, friends, don't forget the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Lastly, friends, I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget to absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.